Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the bonus Laura channel. Today I have my very first random favorites and I'm not gonna do these monthly just because I don't know how long it will take me to accumulate random stuff so I'm just going to be numbering these videos like number one, number two, number three, number four, number 146 hopefully hopefully one day <laughs> so for my very first random favorite I have accumulated a lot of food stuff a lot of food and some other random stuff that I don't mention over on my regular favorite videos which those tend to be more like beauty related videos and I do include a few music favorites I always have to movie favorites I've been asked so many times to include movie favorites in my monthly favorite videos but honestly I don't really watch a lot of movies I really don't. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to show you is a necklace that I've been wearing a lot, especially over on my beauty channel and regular life too. <laughs> and it's this one. It's the Menu Tiny Bar Necklace, which has been a piece that I wanted for so long thanks to Chelsea Wears. And it's just super simple. It's literally just a little tiny bar. Do you see that? Yeah. This is a gold filled necklace. That means it's a metal, usually copper or something else, like fused with gold. So it's not going to lose any of its goldness, which I really like goldness. What am I talking about? It's not going to lose the yellow gold look. So I really like that. It doesn't rust. It doesn't do any of that. And I can wear it almost every day because it's just so simple and it goes with everything. So I really like it. I'm going to put it on for you right now. This was one of my, well, this was the <laughs> the gift that my brother gave me for my birthday and Christmas and I specifically asked for it because I wanted it for the longest time. Just sits like this. It's very simple. Another favorite of mine is a candle. Yes, a candle. <laughs> this is by PF Candle Company, which is an LA-based candle company. I follow them on Instagram and they're like, they're so cool. I just want their life. Like they started as a really, really small business and now they have a big like warehouse and factory. It's just incredible to see like a small business grow that much. Now they sell at Madewell and Urban Outfitters. It's crazy. I just love their candles. They have so many really unique scents. This one that I have right now is a patchouli sweetgrass soy candle and the PF Candle Company candles, they burn the best. They're such like slow burning candles. I've had the sweet um, so sweet grapefruit one for over a year and I still have like this much left. These I only burn for like half an hour or so because they're so potent. So I just love them because I tend to go through these quite slow. And this candle, I usually don't like the scent of patchouli, but since it is mixed in with the sweet grass, it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like an old flower shop, like in a way. Like my grandma used to own a flower shop and it kind of, this, that scent reminds me of her and her flower shop. So. I, I like it. I don't know. I really like it. It's different. And now for another random thing that has definitely, oh my god, this has changed my life. Usually I'm a very big night owl and I have a really bad sleeping pattern. I could go to sleep like at four in the morning and then I'll wake up at like one or two in the afternoon, which is not the best if you're self-employed because I mean, it takes up a bunch of your morning, like there goes your morning and you're part of your afternoon so it makes days last a lot shorter it also made filming a lot difficult because you don't have as much daylight so I really need to get myself together and I started taking melatonin I read about melatonin a lot in blogs and stuff so I just figured I would give it a try melatonin is all natural I personally went to Jimbo's in downtown and Jimbo's is a very natural and organic supermarket you can also find melatonin at Sprouts and Costco actually carries it as well and like I said melatonin is all natural this has three milligrams of melatonin per little pill and what melatonin does it helps with your sleeping pattern and also when you wake up so your sleep and wake up pattern and it's done such an incredible difference whenever I take this I just fall asleep very well I feel like very relaxed and I wake up feeling refreshed and ready for the day so before like I said I was falling asleep around three or four in the morning now I'm falling asleep at around midnight even 
even 11 p.m. which for me that's really really early just because of that difference and now I'm waking up at 8 in the morning 8 9 in the morning without a problem I wake up feeling refreshed and energized it's just such a weird feeling because usually I just felt very sluggish and tired and now it's like the complete opposite like taking taking melatonin has actually made me a little bit more of a morning person which I never thought that could be possible if you have problem with your sleeping and waking up schedule I highly recommend melatonin like I said it's all natural very affordable if you have any questions about it or feel a little bit worried about trying it out definitely consult your physician or do a lot of research on your own there's a lot of blogs and like health related sites out there so I highly recommend melatonin it's been something that has helped me so much and I just feel like so energetic and I feel like like I don't know like doing stuff now so it's really really great stuff I highly recommend it I've always loved honey but we've always gotten the really processed honey you know one with the little bears and stuff and since I work at a small business here in San Diego what was it like last year a year and a half ago I worked at simply local here in San Diego and one of the people that I used to sell at the store was a woman that did honey I learned so much from her and she did a lot of raw organic like local honey and that just <laughs> changed my outlook and perspective about honey so now I try to only eat raw honey I'll try local honey too if it, I do have a little bit more allergies because local honey has local pollen and that helps with allergies so usually it depends on my allergies but um, usually I just make sure it's organic and raw because raw honey has the most nutrients and the most benefits for your health so yeah raw honey and this one is by Sprouts and you get a big a big jug here of honey another thing that I use a lot to sweeten like Greek yogurt is agave nectar and this one is by Target it's from their Simply Balanced range so it's organic and it's just it tastes that's Bowie he's knocking on my door hold on look who's here he came to visit <laughs> say hi hi Hey everyone! So I was talking about agave syrup, agave nectar. I've been using agave to sweeten up like my Greek yogurt for a while now. I would say around four to five months. I really like it. It does have a different type of taste. It doesn't taste like honey. Agave is sweet but it has a little bit of bitterness so it does take a little bit of time to get used to it. I personally just really like it but if you do get something that's a little bit more dark than this then it'll definitely be a lot more bitter <laughs> so watch out for that I really like this like I said it's all natural organic it's just the perfect way to sweeten up like Greek yogurt because I really love my Greek yogurt with fruits and stuff and this one I really enjoyed because it has one of those like squeezy tubes and it just keeps <laughs> the honey inside so I don't get the lid all sticky and all of that so this one I really like and it was very affordable another thing I've been enjoying and this is like very very recent so I started making my own hummus and it's just so much fun I, I've always loved hummus like since I was a kid I've grown up eating a lot of Greek food a lot of Armenian food and just Middle Eastern food so hummus has been part of my life for a while but usually we just buy stuff at the store like from Trader Joe's and Costco and I just want to try my own thing I've been really trying to control the sodium I eat because I definitely love my salty things but I, de I need to watch I need to take care of that so I've been making my own hummus and this time yesterday actually I made chipotle hummus because I like incorporating different things chipotle hummus it looks very weird because I used the wrong jar to store my hummus but you know what this one turned out so good it's just it's definitely a little bit too garlicky because I went a little bit crazy with the garlic but it's really really good I am planning on recording a little recipe for you guys very soon and I'll watch the garlic but I really like garlic what can I say <laughs> but this one turned out so good I am so like proud of myself for making good hummus or at least in my opinion it was really good and finally my last random favorite is mozzarella cheese but not just any mozzarella cheese it is just the this kind of mozzarella cheese. So the first time I was introduced to this type of mozzarella was when I was studying abroad in Paris 
and my boyfriend and I would make the caprese salad very often which has basil, tomatoes, uh, mozzarella, olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's just very simple salad to make. Very very simple. And I don't know why I just stopped <laughs> stopped buying this type of mozzarella once I came back home but then again cheeses here are kind of hit or miss especially if you buy them from like Costco and stuff and they're just so big so it's kind of like a risky purchase in my in my opinion because I purchased some bad cheeses at Costco and they're just so big and I feel so guilty wasting cheese but we had these in my fridge and nobody was using them so I was just like you know what let me let me give it <laughs> let me give it a shot so I opened it and I really liked it definitely the stuff in France was way better because France knows cheese but this is not bad it's definitely pretty fresh. It's by the brand Bel Gioioso. I probably butchered that but Bel Gioioso. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying but um yeah it says it's made in the US, Italian cheese, fresh mozzarella, American's favorite cheese, America's favorite cheese. Yeah. I do like it. <laughs> so what I've been using this for, if you follow me on Snapchat, I've been making a lot of salads. So I'll just either do a bed of like, bed of spinach or just romaine lettuce. Then I'll put some mozzarella, put some um, tomatoes on top. And sometimes I'll even add some raw walnuts on top. Then I'll drizzle some olive oil and balsamic vinegar and put some, what, what, what else? <laughs> Put, put um, salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, sometimes a little bit of chili flakes, and that's my salad. It's very filling. It's not the only thing I eat, and I'll usually follow it up with either like roasted vegetables or something else. So just a nice thing to eat, very refreshing, especially with the heat right now here in San Diego. So I've been really enjoying it, and this mozzarella is just so, so good. So if you haven't tried it out, highly recommend it. And this one, another thing that I really like, it's already pre-sliced, which is perfect. So you know, you can really control your portions very well. So I really like that. And that's it for my very first random favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other random favorites that you want to share with me, please do so in the comments below because I would love to hear about them. If you're brand new to this channel, please take the moment to subscribe by clicking right over here. Now I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! And don't worry about being too precise. If you do leave a seed or a little bit of flesh, it's totally fine. You can even use the seeds to roast them on their own. Now let's drizzle some olive oil.